Okay, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Drop everything. <laughs> It's Aria Artistry here and today we're gonna to be doing a day two night look and as a bonus I included two night lips so I have one that is this lovely red right here which is not my favorite color in the world but it's fine <laughs> and then I have another brown type nude-ish kind of nude it's in the nude family but it's a little bit darker just in case you don't want to do a bold lip like this so yeah, I'm going to be using the Rust Palette by Melt Cosmetics again, since you guys really did like that first video. But before I get into the video, please subscribe to my channel, be a part of my mermaid squad. I would really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos since we are in lockdown. I literally have nothing else to do. So I want to give you guys as much content as I can. And don't forget to put your notification bell on so you know whenever I post a new video so you don't miss out. And without further ado, I'm hyper as always <laughs> but if you want to see how to get this look right here and another look that's more daytime just keep watching <laughs> all right so i did my brows off camera because you guys see my brows done a bunch of times it's literally the same thing um i'll list the products down below what i used but we're gonna get started with this look and don't come at me i do have a shirt on i'm just trying to look cute because you know you can wear this during the day if you put a jacket on top of it and then if you take it off you can you know look cute during the night <laughs> so i'm gonna be using the oh just kidding let me actually just prime my eyes really quick with the urban decay primer so this is gonna be an easy day to night look using just one palette so since you guys really liked the Melt Cosmetics video that I put out, out, <laughs> I was going to say up and out at the same time, I decided to do another look with this palette. I actually really do like it because the colors are so neutral. So I feel like this is a really good staple palette, as I said before. If you want to see a review on this palette, I do have it on my channel. So I'll link it down below so you guys can check that out so you can you know, get my opinion on it, see the swatches, all that good stuff. So the first color we're going to use is Rubbish. And it's just like this like olivey mustard yellow color. So we're just gonna put that right into the crease and I'm using a Crown C58 brush. I also do have um, a video on all of the brushes that I use and it's all cruelty free. So I'll also leave that down below if you guys didn't see that. And we're just gonna pop this right in the crease. And I just like to tap it right on there, tap it right in the outer V and then I'll go in circular motions once it's nice and pigmented just to blend it out. This color is so pretty just by itself because it looks darker on the skin than it does in the pan, especially if you like keep layering it up. All right, so now that that is nice and blended, looking really pretty. So now I'm gonna go in with Rust and it's just like a nice burnt orange shade. It has like a little bit of brown in there and I'm just gonna put it right in the outer V just to give a little definition. We don't want too much because this is a daytime look. I'm not gonna bring it um, too far up into the crease, just kind of sticking right where that outer V is. So now we're gonna go in with Tarnish and I love this color because it, you know how like some golds have like yellow to it? This is literally just straight up gold. It's so pretty and it's so pigmented watch. Like that's just one swipe. I love this color and it just really makes your eyes pop, especially if you just, you know, want a natural look, but then have like a nice pop on the eye. So pretty, look at that. I love that. And the brush I'm using is an oval fluff brush. It's just a flat eyeshadow brush by Crown. And then I'm gonna go back in with the C511 and just make sure it's nice and blended and it mix well with the other two shades that we put on. All right, and then just to add a little definition on the top, we're gonna take this liner. This is by Urban Decay. Um, they're 24 seven pencils and this is in the shade whiskey and we're just gonna pop this on the lid and this is a lot more subtle than black 
especially for the daytime. And then I'm gonna take a little smudger brush and just smudge it out, just so it's not like, a stark line, you know? So since this is a day look, we're gonna be just doing mascara, no lashes yet, cause you guys know I love lashes. So I'm gonna take this mascara primer by Urban Decay and just pop this on my lashes. And this really makes them nice and full and long. So when I don't wear lashes, I usually do this and mascara and it just gives me more length and volume. All right, so I let that get a little tacky just so the mascara can really stick onto it. So now I'm just going to take my face primer. This is All Nighter Face Primer by Urban Decay. And I love using this um, if I'm like gonna be out all day because it really helps the foundation stick on and I don't have to worry about like my foundation coming off, especially if I have like an event to go to after work or something. And now I'm gonna take my corrector. This is Stay Naked Corrector in Pure Red by Urban Decay. I do it around my mouth and right under my eyes. And then I'm just gonna blend it with this little fluffy brush right here. And this just helps cancel out any darkness that you have. I always talk about this in my videos. For me, it's like something I have to do because you can really see the darkness when I put foundation on just by itself. So this really helps. And I'll list the inexpensive version that I used to use down below because um, I know this is kind of pricey. It's like $29, I think. Um, but there's one for a five that I used to use and it literally is the same thing. This one is just pure red. The other one I think is like a dark orange, so I'll definitely link that down below for you guys. Make sure to blend, 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 because if you don't, you can totally see the corrector through the foundation. And that's not cute, girl, no. All right, time to change the battery, BRB. <laughs> so now that I have a new battery, yay. <laughs> We're going to go in with foundation. I'm gonna be mixing these two. It's by Urban Decay, The Stay Naked, and this is 61NN and 70NN. Um, I mix these two because I can't find my perfect shade. Uh, my perfect shade is, I think, 71NN in the summer. And in the winter, 61NN is way too light, so I have to mix the two. I worked out for the first time today, so if I'm like off the charts wild, just, just know that's what it is. <laughs> I like so much energy. And I had pre-workout too, so. Yeah, I'm a little, little hyper. All right, so I just mix it with my little concealer brush. And now I'm just going to put the excess on my face and then use a beauty blender to put it on. And this foundation is also really good to wear day and night. I just wouldn't do two pumps because two pumps is full coverage. If anything, after this quarantine thing is over, uh, if you do have somewhere to go after work, I would just put like a face powder in my bag and just use that so you don't have too much foundation on during the day. And then for at night, you can just pop the powder on, you know? You already know what I'm about to say about the neck. Don't forget it. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot about my lashes. I always do this. <laughs> I get so into my face and I forgot my lashes. Okay, let's uh, put mascara on really quick because I forgot. So I'm just using the Perversion by Urban Decay. You see how long my lashes are? Makes your lashes look ridiculous. And remember to blink into it and then wiggle so you can get every lash. If your mascara ever looks clumpy, just take your spoolie and then brush it out. And then I just clean it right away so there's no like mascara residue on it. All right, back to the face. We're gonna be using concealer. It's the same Naked Concealer in 60 and N. And I'm just gonna put it right on. And then I'm just blending this out with a smaller beauty blender. And then when I usually get like over here, I just make a little line, just to make it a little bit sharper. And it just helps clean it up a little bit. I usually cream contour, but um, for the daytime, I feel like I don't wanna do that. So, I usually like it for the daytime, but I feel like you guys won't really be using a cream contour, so I just kind of skipped that step and just I'm gonna use bronzer instead. So now to set, I'm gonna be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques brush and just set it under my eyes. Make sure there's no creasing first. And then I'm just gonna set wherever I put the rest of the concealer. For bronzer, you guys already know, I'm gonna be using the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun and just chisel my cheeks. Oh, I just realized that I'm using a cream blush and I just powdered my face. It's all right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> and then I just take the Real Techniques brush and just blend everything. Okay, so this is the only cruelty-free blush that I have. And this is by Urban Decay. It's Lofi. It's actually like a lip mousse, but you can use it as a cream blush. And I just put powder on, so we're gonna be really careful. <laughs> I'm just gonna use this little fluffy guy right here just because, like I said, I put powder on. You wanna do this like before you powder your face. Any cream 
because you don't want it to stick to the powder. It's gonna leave a patch. So we're just gonna lightly put it on and hope it works. <laughs> I think it's like way too pink for me. I'm not a fan of this color, but it is what it is. I like more of like a peachy blush, but we're gonna blend it with the bronzer so it's gonna look cute. I mean, it's not terrible. It's just not my cup of tea, you know? So I'm just gonna blend it with that Real Techniques again and then take my bronzer blush and then take my bronzer brush. And the color that I use in the mousse was in Fade. So for highlight, we're gonna go in with Becca and this is in the shade Opal. She's pretty blinding, so we're gonna be very light-handed since this is a daytime look. And then nighttime, we could shine. But right now we're trying to just like glisten, you know? And then you know I always forget my nose, so I'm just gonna do that really quick, just so the contours match. And who doesn't like a chiseled nose? All right, so now we're gonna go back into the palette and go underneath our eyes. I'm gonna use a C528, and I'm gonna use that rubbish shade again, and just stick it right underneath this is my lash line. This is optional, you can, um, if you want, you could just do eyeliner, but since I have like a pocket right here, I like to fill it with eyeshadow. And I'm gonna take a little bit of that rust shade and just go right in the corner, just to blend the two. Oh, I love it, look how cute. And we're gonna go in with that eyeliner again, um, the whiskey shade, and we're just going to put it as close to our lash line as we can. And then I'm gonna smudge it out with that brush again, the smudger brush. And the last step for eyeshadow is inner corner highlight. So for inner corner, I think I'm gonna use Antique. It's just a pretty peach shade. I'm just gonna pop it in there just to brighten up the corner a little bit. And I think I'm gonna mix that with tarnish so it has a little bit of shimmer since it's matte. And then I'm gonna do the tarnish on the inner part. Now open your eye up a little bit more too. And for during the day, I typically don't do bottom mascara because it, since my eyes are like more almond shaped and they're a little bit smaller, um, I don't know, I feel like it makes me look more awake, uh, but I'll do it for the sake of the video. So I'm just gonna use that lash primer again and we're gonna let that dry, and then we're gonna move on to these lips. So for doing the day, I'm gonna just do a basic nude, and this is one of my favorites. I really like the Becca Ultimate Lipstick, um, lipsticks. <laughs> they're really, really nice, and they're nice and creamy too, so keep your lips really hydrated. But we're gonna go in with ColourPop BFF3 Lip Liner. I don't know why I'm reading it, because I know exactly what it is. <laughs> my favorite lip liner ever. It's like six bucks too. All right, now we're gonna go in with Becca Yours truly, such a good peachy nude. And then if you want, you can put gloss on. I love gloss, so I'm gonna use the Laura Geller Lip Gloss in Gilded Honey. It's just, just a really pretty gold. Look how shimmery it is, it's so pretty. And it's just a really nice topper. And now we're gonna put some mascara on the bottom. Let me know what your favorite um, cruelty-free mascara is, because this one's okay, but on the bottom it does bleed for me. I did like the waterproof one, but that one dried out pretty quick. So I'm just using this one for now. But let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite so I can try it out. So this is the daytime look with this palette. I feel like you guys can definitely recreate this because it's using only three shadows. Um, and you can even get away with just using two. Um, but yeah, I think this is so pretty. Excuse me, trying to sabotage me. Little brush hair. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is so, so pretty. If you want to take this tonight, I'm going to show you. It's going to be so, so simple. But I love this look. I think I'm going to wear this all the time as my everyday. I think I said that in my last video too, but <laughs> I just really like this palette. It's so pigmented. And it was worth the money, like, because these pans are huge. All right, so now we're going to transform and take this to a night look. So we're literally gonna use the same palette. We're just gonna use a different lip. Um, so if you are like, like I said, once the quarantine and everything is over with, if you have some more to go, um, you can literally just bring the palette and another, li bleh, bleh, and another lipstick. So yeah, let's do that right now. So I've been watching all of these um, eco-friendly videos cause I'm working on being eco-friendly. And these stupid little makeup wipes I think we use like, I don't know what the math was, I'll put it in, but we use so many and I don't even use these like that. I just use this for like filming and stuff, but I'm not buying these anymore. Definitely try to get a reusable makeup wipe or something because these little things are not biodegradable 
and it's just a little stupid makeup wipe. So that is my makeup wipe brand. <laughs> so to spice this look up, we're gonna use two shades. We're gonna use Mar, which is like a dark chocolate. And we're gonna pop that right into the crease. All right, so I actually switched to a C511. It's just this like fluffy brush. And then dip in the Mar, tap the excess, and then just really get in there. I don't know why I was being shy at first. <laughs> I love neutrals, especially if you could like smoke them out like this. So I'm just switching it between the C528, the small detailing brush, and then this uh, C511 fluffy brush just to give it some detail and then I go in and blend it out. Now we're gonna go into the darker shade of the palette, which I haven't used yet. And we're just gonna put this right in the outer V right here. I don't wanna lose that Mar shade, so this will just give me that extra definition. Oh, I can't wait to do a smoky eye with this color. So it's such a nice brown. It's like a really dark, dark brown. And now we're gonna pop on some lashes cause you know, we go out. So I'm gonna be using the Ilore Luxe Silk Effect Lashes, and these just give you some drama, honey. I love these lashes. So I'm gonna pop these on really quick, and then I'll come back. You see how pretty these lashes are? I'm like so obsessed. I haven't worn these in so long, and they are cruelty-free, so that's why I chose them, so you guys can, you know, use them since I'm cruelty-free now. Now to add some liner, I'm gonna be taking my little angled brush with my spoolie on it, and I'm gonna be using this ColourPop liner. This is a gel liner. This liner is so good. Just make sure you close it, because it does dry up pretty quickly if you don't. So we're just gonna make a line just to cover the lash band, and this will also give you some drama since it's black. And you can do a wing if you'd like. Um, I don't really do wings because it doesn't flatter my eye shape, so I'll just make a thick line. Oh, you see how that just like gives you a lot more drama? And if you want, you can totally use um, a liquid liner. I just like gel because it's sometimes it's like really, really black. Like this one is super black. So now we're going to go right underneath our eyes and we're gonna be using Mar and we're just gonna put it right on top of the rubbish shade we did before. And this will just smoke it out give you that sultry look you're looking for. And be very light-handed when you do the brown because you don't want it to fall down on your foundation. And now I'm gonna dip into Rot Squared. Rot Squared, because there's a little two on it. And then just put it right in the corner over here. Okay. She looking cute. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go back in with Tarnish and just go right on the inner corner and then bring it out to the dark sh brown shade. And then we're gonna pop on some more mascara because sometimes if you do eyeshadow after mascara, it gets lost and it picks up the eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna pop it right back on. All right, so now for lips, I actually have um, two options for you guys. So we're gonna be doing a nice pretty brown and then we're gonna be doing a red. Some people don't like red, so I just wanted to give you two options. So I'm gonna go in with that whiskey eyeliner and use it on my lips. And that was by Urban Decay. And I'm also gonna use this Urban Decay lipstick in En Fuego and I love this lipstick, it's so pretty. Look at it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's literally like the shade of my hair. Ooh, I love it. And then I'm gonna go back in with whiskey just to make it a little more brown. And there you go. So this is a great option if you don't really like to wear, you know, a lot of lipstick or a bold lip. This is more of like a neutral color. I know it's dark, but it's not like too dark, but it still makes like a statement. So this is definitely a good option. You can definitely do nude, um, but you know, you wore nude during the day, so you wanna kinda switch it up. I'm feeling myself in this look, and I am obsessed. All right, so now we're gonna switch over to the red shade so I can show you guys what that looks like. All right, and the last lip I'm gonna be doing is this red one. So the lip liner I'm gonna be using is by Urban Decay, and it's in Bad Blood. I haven't wore a red lip in forever. I think since I did my intro, that's the last time I wore a red lip. And the lip sync I'm gonna be using is also by Urban, and it is called F-Bomb. And this is a really pretty red and it's nice and glossy. Oh my God, I'm not used to this at all. What the heck? <laughs> and then I always go back in with like foundation or something just to clean it up, make it a lot more sharp. Cause with red, you can like notice if you go outside the lines. So if you are a bold biatch, this is all you. This is not me. 
this is way too much makeup for me. Um, I would definitely do the En Fuego, but I mean, it's pretty. I'm not, it's not like I don't like it. It's just the lip is a lot for me. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys some options so you can, you know, look hot on your night out. <laughs> all right, so that is all you need to take a day to night look. So I hope this helped you out. I wanted to use as little products as possible. So if you are like, going after work, you can just throw a couple things in your purse and then you can just change it up in like the bathroom or your car or something. So yeah, this is really, I guess, for when quarantine is over, but I just wanted to show you guys um, other looks you could do with this palette because it's so, so versatile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Be a part of my mermaid squad. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.